What's up YouTube? This is Inventory King. How do you like to scape your aquarium? That's right, I want to know in those comments down below as African cichlid keepers, how do you like to aquascape, rockscape, hardscape, however you say it, how do you scape your African cichlid aquarium? For me, I like the simple look. I like as little as possible in the aquarium so that the fish do all the work. As you can see in my 220 gallon peacock and half tank, as many of you have seen, I got an aqua decor background and I have three aqua decor rocks that they made that I put in place. For me, it's just enough to where you get that natural look but the fish are the stars of this aquarium. You can see them swimming back and forth. You can see their colors. They're popping on the background. I also am all about sand in my aquariums. I just like the natural look of sand. So for me, it's as simple as sand, a couple of rocks. If I have a background, great. If I don't have a background, I'll paint it either a black or a blue background. For those of you who watch my videos or are new to my channel know that in my Madoka white lip tank and in my Restratus tank, I have basalt wall rock as the rocks for the hardscape and sand. This is just how I like to do it. Simple, to me the fish are the stars and I want the fish to shine. Uh, I've tried plants, real and fake. I've tried driftwood. I've done gravel, I've done them all. Are they my first choice? No, uh, over the years of keeping African cichlids and improving my craft and how I like my tanks to look, this is just how I love it. Simple, yet elegant, in my opinion. So again, everyone, I would like to know in those comments down below, how do you scape your African cichlid aquariums? If you don't have African cichlids, how do you escape your aquariums? I'd love to know. I'd love to get everyone talking about it so that we can get an idea of how everyone loves to see their tanks. Please comment, subscribe, and stay tanked.